Judge with 11 homers and 26 runs batted in. Stanton, nine home runs after his two tonight. He also has 28 runs batted in. That leads the team. And Rizzo has nine as well. And this is a cool stat. First Yankees trio with nine or more home runs in the first 31 games all time. And the Yankees, as we know, have had some mashers over the years. Let's hear from Aaron Judge post game. Aaron, you've seen John Carlo for a couple years now. You know what he's capable of. But what did you think of the night that he had this evening? <laughs> Those are some pretty swings. Um, well, the two homers were impressive. Um, but I think the change of, you know, loving away off the plate, driving to right center was, you know, even even bigger swing. It's just, you know, what that guy's capable of doing every single night. It's, he's, a, he's a game changer. He can take over a game, you know, just like he did tonight. And, um, it's fun when you got that guy in the lineup. You guys put up a big number in that eighth inning with two outs, and Aaron Boone said the Glaber at bat as important as maybe some of the other ones, the big ones, the home run ones this this evening. What did you think of the Glaber at bat and Marwin really to extend the inning to get to you? No, that was big time. You know, Marwin battled up there, you know, drew the walk. That was big time. And then, you know, GT coming off the bench and, you know, facing, you know, a reliever like Joe Kelly who's, you know, got some of the nastiest stuff in the game, and he can run up to 100 with his, with his fastball and, you know, he's got a great breaking ball and changeup. Um, he, he took some great takes on some, you know, breaking balls down and was able to turn the lineup over, which was which is big big time for us. Anytime you get DJ up to the plate, um, with some guys on base in a big situation, and, you know, you got Rizzo behind me, G behind us, I think good things are going to happen. Are you pretty confident you beat that one out? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave it all I got. I hope I get a – hope my, my speed rating or something goes up a little bit. <laughs> we'll see. Let's say someone who doesn't like watch you a lot, uh, you get up the line pretty good for someone of your your size. I mean, you take a lot of pride in your athleticism. Maybe that, you know, I, I asked Aaron about it, and he said he thinks everybody in the league realizes how athletic you are. But I'm not sure you're you're definitely not known for your athleticism as you are your power. I mean, how much do you take pride in that? Uh, it's just me being me. You know, I, I got nothing to say. I just you know just try to be a well-rounded athlete, and um, you know, I try to pride myself in my defense and you know around the bases well. Well, and it's, it's, it all, it's all part of it, man. I just try to put in the work. What does it say about this team that, you know, they, they tie the game up in the seventh and you come back with that answer in the eighth inning? It's something we've been doing all year. You know, it's just, it's, it speaks volumes to the type of guys we have in this clubhouse. Guys, it doesn't matter what the score is. It doesn't matter if we're down. It doesn't matter if we're up. Even, you know, when we were up, you know, we are still getting guys on base. Guys were still having great at-bats. It wasn't like, you know, they're in the ninth or, you know, they're just throwing, it, throwing their at-bats away or they're in the eighth when we were scoring seven. They were just throwing their at-bats away. So I think it just speaks volumes to the guys we got in here, and, you know, we want to win. <laughs>